Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cube Community Server. This is Super Dream Gate. And as you can see, this map is different. There are new people on the server. That is because this is a brand new season and this is the first time I've gotten to record. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um so yeah, this is a brand new season, a brand new server, and brand new people, brand new rules. Uh, as you can see with our names, they are color coded. So from top to bottom, the blue name, which is the team I'm on because we're on teams, is uh, Team Diamond. The middle one is Team Gold, and the bottom one is Team Iron. That's not, uh, I don't think it's broken up by name in the sense of your team, 
Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know, actually. I hadn't asked. But basically, um, each team is headed by a captain. So Erosium is Team Iron's captain. McSquishy007 is Team Gold's captain. And a new player, well, a new member called Lariella, I hope I pronounced her name correctly, Eep, <laughs> is Team Diamonds. So, yeah, the server's been open for a few months, but... Sometimes life just gives you lemons and you find out you do not have the ingredients to make lemonade right away. So you kind of have to deal with that sour bit of life until you're able to make something sweet out of it. So now I am making lemonade. I am back recording. And as you can see in the chat, uh, there is going to be a challenge tomorrow. And basically the challenge is a... Uh, we're doing a on water build. So basically it's going to be a whole bunch of water and then we have to build something. I am super excited. I have some ideas for what I'm going to do, but not fully. So we will concern ourselves with that tomorrow. For now, this is the spawn house I built, which you should have seen a montage clip time-lapse thingy in the beginning. So we have a mailbox, which has nothing in it at the moment. And then this is just the nice little front area, which I think looks pretty. You come in and then on the left is a kitchen. Uh, mainly because the whole point of these spawn builds are to best represent the person who built it. So mine has a kitchen because one, I always do a kitchen. That's because I love cooking, I love food. And two, I just think they look nice and they're fun to decorate. So it's not that big. Uh, it's just to kind of get you started. Then we have a living room area, just because I like to do interior design. Uh, this is my personal banner. Um, for those of you who watched the last season, uh, you should recognize it, maybe? Possibly. Uh, so then we have all this, which is paintings. I guess since we're on this floor, we'll head out here. And this is a nice little deck area. You open the gate, pull out a fishing rod, creep like this, and then you can just fish. I don't have an AFK fishing farm, so that's how I do a lot of my fishing and gathering of books. So then up here, da da da, is basically a loft bedroom sort of thing that I did. I have an enchanting station because I uh, love to enchant stuff, and I do run the Enchanters Guild whose headquarters is that tower with the unfinished roof over there. I have a cake and milk because I love sweets and I love milk. And I have these little trees and stuff because I think it looks pretty. Uh, as far as I'm thinking, I think the house is done. Uh, so this is basically just my little spawn build. Uh, if anyone is interested, this is basically what the side of it looks like. So down here, uh, this is Cooking Mamas, and she has done a fantastic job putting together this map room. Oh wow, she finished it. That's fantastic. So basically, I'm not going to poke anything, but you see that dot? That's me. And basically, this is Spawn following to this path down here. This is all of Spawn. And these are like different bases and different things all around it. So. She did a fantastic job. I think she wants to do a one specifically for Spawn itself, which I think will be very good uh, so we can see both maps. Um, so what else? I think I'm going to... Uh, do we want to do a big Spawn tour today or not? Uh, let's try. Um, this is actually my third attempt at recording this episode because... My laptop just does not like to charge and record at the same time. And I found that out because I was doing a previous attempt and uh, Minecraft and ScreenFlow, ScreenFlow is my recording software, crashed on me. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I lost the footage, but no matter, I'll just record again. So I go on the server, I try to record, and the entire laptop freezes. And I'm like, okay, this isn't a good sign. And all of a sudden, it let out the most awful high-pitched shrieking right in my ear. I had to yank my earbuds out and throw them on the table that I'm recording on and uh, it wasn't great at all. So 
hopefully now that it's done charging or I pulled the charge, it won't do that to me again because my poor ears cannot take that another time. So we're gonna start over here and this is mus, mus, M-U-S, the log space, uh, spawn area thing. So he has sheep and cows, he has um, wheat farm, a chest. And so he built this and it looks really cool. I really like it. And this is his little area to start and then it just leads down and it's very dwarven inspired at least i hope that's what he's going for otherwise i'm gonna feel a little silly but it's very it does remind me a lot of like dwarven architecture and stuff uh, uh excuse me that's a sneeze so he has a ravine he wants to keep that is a scary hole of i don't know what i'm not going near that and this is just a really cool like storage area and sleeping area and I'm not too sure if this is his base or just a spawn area. Either way this looks amazing and I'm super impressed and I love it so much. It's so cool. Uh, I guess he loves to dig and design. Um, that would be my guess at least. So his is the farthest off from everyone so I figured we'd start with him and then kind of come back into spawn. Well, no, uh, Waste, uh, that's, he, um, yeah, Wastelander106, he, his nickname is Waste on the server, and he didn't set up, like, a spawn thing, he just went that away, so I'm gonna have to fly over to him at the end, but within the spawn area, Must is the farthest. So we also have Dakota and Livin, and they built this house and decorated and made these trees, and... I love all the detailing and all this sort of stuff that they've done around here. They have like a nice little backyard area. I shouldn't be hopping on these, but I'm sorry. And I love this so much. They have two chickens in here and they're supposed to be like ducks, I think. I, that is so clever. So probably could have gone in through the back door, but yeah, let's just, oh, they have pressure plates that's nice oh look at this this is so fancy I really like the floors too oh it looks like they have a basement down there and stuff and then upstairs Ooh, look at this nice little bedroom well it's not little it's a nice bedroom uh, should I go down there I'm gonna peek Ooh, lots of storage very nice I won't look in the stuff, but lots of storage for their things. And then that just leads back outside, which we have seen. Excuse me. Oh, it's getting dark. It's okay. Spawn's pretty safe. So this is E-Battery's house. Is he on right now? No, he's not. So this is his house, and I really like the combination of sandstone and spruce wood. It really is nice. Down here is a potato farm, and I'm not going to walk because I don't want to trample anything. And then up here is just like a nice little living area, uh, living bedroom area, what are words? <laughs> so hop out here. Now that it's getting dark, you see that little mound? Now I guess I'll approach it carefully. This is where McSquishy's gonna build. He's been very busy, so he hasn't been able to just yet. Over here is a shop, and this is Larry's kitchen. Um, so she has a lot of food things for sale, which is really nice. And then if you come up here, this is my favorite spot of this build. Just like this nice little lofty lounge area where you can just sit and relax it's such a nice little detail and it feels so cozy and I like the color combination. A lot of people don't like diorite but I like how she used it here. It makes it feel like um, a glazed kitchen sort of or dining room floor. If I could remember words that'd be fantastic. But yeah, so that's hers. We head outside. It doesn't look like people are going to sleep. So Cooking Mama not only did the um, map room, but this is her spawn. Oh no. 
That's so sad. So this is Cooking Mama's uh, house, and she does a lot of AFK fishing and stuff, so she dug all of this down and filled it with water, which I think is really cool. And then this is just like a simple little interior, and there's a chest up there that I'm not going to look in because that's not for me. So yeah, that's all down there. Uh, we'll get to the Enchanting Tower at the end. So this is Dijin, 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 I'm sorry, I can't pronounce anything. Uh, this is his banner shop. It's not open just yet, but I am definitely going to be buying some banners from him. Oh God, oh God, <sighs> please forgive the yells. <sighs> you jerk, you terrifying, terrifying, ho, oh, oh. ho. This isn't safe. There's something not safe in here. Oh, my sweet goodness gracious. I'm sorry, did I yell your ears out? I didn't mean that. Sure. Oh. So, moving on from the terror of nearly dying to a creeper, <laughs> we have a uh, Mus's skelly shop. And in here, there's arrows, there's bones, there's bows and stuff. Uh, I do have to talk with him because since we both do bows, I might just let him do that because while I do enchanted stuff, if he's doing a skelly shop, I do feel that's a little much for me to take over since, I don't know, I will discuss it. <laughs> Poor waste. So then we have uh, the cobbler and the cobbler was the first shop to be established on the server. Um, I believe it's run by cookie aka cooking mama and uh squishy or mcsquishington mcsquish oh gosh names words hiya <laughs> so they sell a lot of different things and not just cobble um so yeah they do a lot of neat stuff and they take orders as well for big things like big amounts of cobble and stone and whatnot so I guess we'll talk about the fountain first. Uh, this looks like a decorational thing. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Now that that creeper happened, I'm very, very nervous and jittery. So I think Erosium did this. If I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. And there's also a well over here, which is really nice. Uh, this is Dijin, Dijin, Dijin. I am so sorry. Please tell me how to pronounce this because I'm just awful. This is his and I love this. It is so pretty. Um, it's very open, it's very gardeny, it's very nature natural and naturey. Uh so we hop up here, and then this is his nice little area. If I could climb down the ladder, that's just my own fault. And then over here we have a nether wart farm, which is pretty simple, and I'll show that off in a bit. And then this is the supply hut. So you just come in here. There used to be a bed. I don't know where it's gone. Whoa, did someone take a furnace? That used to be a furnace. So did that. Was it just rearranged or that's new? Uh, so basically you just get like a little chest and you get to put your name on it. Uh, they're all blank like this initially and then you just put your stuff in there. So yeah, um, pretty simple, but it's a, a nice little build, especially to take cover and Put some supplies until you settle down. So this is the nether wart farm. So all you do is flick this lever. Watch all the nether wart come running and rushing down. The hoppers collect it, but I usually just grab a bunch and to avoid the penalty of the nether, uh, the soul sand, I mean, not the nether wart. The nether wart doesn't do anything. I just kind of hop and it works well enough for me. Uh, you have to manually place it, but that's fine. So this fountain was the first thing I built on the server. Um, we needed a fountain just because I thought it would look nice. That it was basically my idea, I, I think. It has been a while. <laughs> and it's also in front of the nether portal area. Oh, that got turned off somehow? I don't know. So yeah, this will lead you... 
Oh, yeah, there's a joke that some there was Team Amethyst. There, There isn't actually as of right now, unless there's going to be another captain. Uh, so this leads to the Ender Ender, which I won't show because it scares me. I am terrible. And this is the Nether Hub. So all the, there's a... Oh, this is new, like storage and smelting and stuff. That's nice. Um, so yeah, my tunnel, just because there was an empty one and I figured I'd pick it before it got claimed, I don't know where it's going to lead, but I just picked it, and it, I will literally just pick random numbers and then go in that direction for that many number of blocks, and wherever I end up will be my base for the season. That won't happen until after the challenge, because the challenge is basically going to be the map for like three or so weeks. But that's fine. Um, doesn't matter to me so much. So, we have the fountain, we have this. Uh, Erosium set up these decorational logs because he loves chopping wood and whatnot. Over here, <coughs> aside from my throat dying from attempting to speak for like an hour and a half, two hours, is um bleat i passed the sign like a fool blazes mine shaft and he loves to go caving and stuff so he did all of this and he decorated it by hand he has a zombie villager friend called happy piggo and yeah this looks really nice i really like it so we're just gonna hop up over here and let's see we did all this stuff over here so the next thing so that's a well. Did I mention that? I'm sorry if I did or if I didn't. Either way. Uh, this is just some decorational stuff. Over here is Sir Skell's minion, Mr. Zombert's mailbox. Oh, that's hilarious. So this is a zombie farm. And this is... I don't know who Harold is. I feel I missed some lore. But basically when you come out of the zombie farm, you wind up here. And there are a lot of little piggies. So... In order to access this, you drop down, plop, land in some water. Uh, that's redstone, I'm not gonna bother with that. And this is what it is. So basically, all the zo once you flick this on, all the zombies come down here, and then you kill them by pressing the crusher, so they're basically a hit with a sword. Uh, yeah, swords and stuff are stored here. And so there's a bunch of like, I think these are the armors, and then these are the zombie flesh chests. And there's quite a bit of that. Uh, it's not getting as much use anymore because of the ender ender. But that's fine. Back here, isn't it? Whoa, I fell right in. It's an enchanting area. Um, this is to turn all of the gold pieces into nuggets. But I haven't done that myself. Um, I kind of just leave it be. So to get out... You climb along this ladder, and then you press the button, and then you just hop over here. At least that's how I've been getting out. Probably the incorrect way of doing it. I actually uh, died here once. Be ah, did I hear a zombie? Is that what I heard? Gosh, no. I don't know. But I was coming out, and it was night, and I didn't realize the zombie until it was too late. I shot him with an arrow, and since my arrow has flame, he lit me on fire, and then I died, and I was not happy. He despawned right after, so at least he didn't take my stuff. But, um, I've died on the server a total of three times since its start. Uh, once was to the zombie, which I don't have footage of, and twice was to Elytra. So, I totally didn't splat. Totally didn't splat, I swear. So, a uh, last thing for this area. Well, no, there's one other thing. But next thing is the Blue Arrow Market. Uh, this was established by Blue Blaze and Arrow, and thus the name is perfect. Um, so, it's just like all this open market with all these nice stalls and stuff. And this is my section. Um, Blaze, Arrow, and I all do enchanted books and stuff. So this is mine, this is Blaze's, and this is Arrow's. Uh, and he Arrow has all of these other things for sale. So basically, we put our books in here, and 
uh, I list the price. My prices for books are generally two diamonds, unless I name it otherwise. And finally, we have the Enchanting Tower, which I designed and not completed. I, I need to do the roof, but I don't like the roof design I potentially wanted to do, so I have to think on that. So basically, you come in here and you can do a full enchant of 30. I don't have anything to prove that, but please believe me. Uh, so these are just like free supplies, some lapis, some books. Uh, I'm going to have to try and keep that stocked for people, but it's a little tough. This is the order book, which the name isn't showing up because it keeps getting unnamed for reasons I will never understand. But basically, people place orders for special tools, a certain number of books, whatever they need. Uh, this is the order guide, which has pricing, what I do, what I don't do, certain other things, just for ease of use. Um, so over here, these are freebies, uh, just because, you know, sometimes you get, like, sneezes, apparently. <laughs> and your earbud fa falling out of your ears again. So, okay. Uh, these are just freebies. They're, they don't cost anything. People can just take them. And then basically whatever this is named is the price for it. So this is really all there is. Um, up here, that's going to... I do want that to be enchanted diamond armor, but I might just leave it as enchanted iron. That chest is just like basically where I log what things I've done or haven't done for the order guide. That's just a decorational thing, and that's going to be an enchanted diamond sword eventually. Just for decorational sake. Excuse the pounding, I have no idea how to fly. Oh gosh, hello. Whoa, he did some work. Whoa. Oh my gosh, waste. This is, look at how big the border of this is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all this. I need to make better fireworks because I accidentally did them for a flight duration of one and not three. So I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna ask him to give me a proper tour of that later because wow, that is cool. I'm not gonna go peek just yet. But yeah, look at, I can fly now guys. My first flying experiences did not go well. So the last thing, aside from the beacon, is as you're kind of getting a glimpsey of... Oh gosh! Poof! Th that went better than expected. Is the stables, which I also built. Um, so this horse is mine. They're not named, but it's mine. This is McSquishy's horse. Uh, no one else seems to have placed their horses anywhere. These horses aren't anyone's. They're kind of just for takes. But I don't think people have been really using horses. So yeah, this is the breeding only pen. Um, basically, I'm trying to have one of every horse and la uh, llama color. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven horses and four uh, llamas are here. They're all the same color. Uh, there used to be a light brown horse, but might have died. I don't know. It's not here. So I have to go looking for another one. And then I need to go get more llamas. Um, I guess I could technically, we could technically let two of the llamas go somewhere, but I don't know. So on each side, there are golden carrots, uh, which no one's been using. People haven't been using horses, but that's okay. Leads, there's only one because I need to make more. And then saddles, which I filled so many times over because of fishing. So both sides have full saddles. And then these little pens on the side are supposed to be for where you put like the baby horse or whatever but eh, it's okay at the very least I would like to think people think it looks nice but that's yeah I think this is pretty oh there's one last little thing for spawn at the moment uh let me hop down here two things I forgot Musa's building and Larry's oh gosh I am terrible at this tour thing I am so sorry guys so this is Larry's. First of all, her mailbox is amazing. I just love that. That is the coolest thing. I don't know where she got that idea from, but I love it. So this is her little spawn hut. Uh, she loves doing like very cozy kind of builds like this, and I really like it. Her style's so nice. 
But then you come down here and this is cool too. Um, it feels very natural and overgrown and ancient and I really like that. But at the same time, there's a mystical quality to it, especially with all the obsidian and purple. Oh, she's got maps too. Plotting room. <laughs> Please remember, please remove your shoes before entering. Uh, okay, I'll take off my shoes. Oh, she has a map too. I wonder if she and um, Cooking Mama have been working together. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. I'm sorry if I am. Let me put my shoes back on. So head down here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Larry's lair, I love it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, that's cool. I like this. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. I really like this. I don't know what that's gonna be, but oh, this is nice too. I like your fountain a lot. And hopefully for really reals, for finally, finalies. Um, I mean, there's a cactus farm over there and some sugar cane, and there is a little, a uh, little spawn supply area over there but within spawn proper like you can kind of see it from here this is Mus's. so I guess the other one was Mus's base and this is his spawn house so that looks like deep dark something that I don't necessarily want to mess with and then this is like his living area really high ceilings it's really interesting how everyone has their own unique building style but it all comes together so well because you just see like the little flares of personality and technique and uh, I just love it. So uh, let's go try and fly over there. Let me eat. We could take a boat or we could fly. My wings are mending, let's go fly. Uh, oh, I did it somehow, magic. So this was all done by Arrow, um, and I'm not too sure if he has any more plans for this, but this is kind of like you can drop some uh, things off. These are There's cows and pigs in there for breeding and getting food and all that stuff. Wow, Musa's tower looks really nice from here. Bloop. Then there's a bunch of farms and you can put the seeds over there. There's wheat, beetroot, um, potatoes and carrots, pumpkin, sugar cane. So yeah, this is just like a nice little area. And then there's some chickens wandering around. I guess he's gonna put a path. You can go in here. And it's like there's just some supplies and whatnot, which is cool. But yeah, that's kind of what's been up with the server. Everyone has their own base except for me because I have to establish my base and all that. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm getting better with that. I am definitely getting better. But yeah, so there's nothing really up there, so I'm not going to take you guys there, but yeah, this is spawn, and I think it's coming along fantastically. So we won't be back here for a while because we are going to be having the challenge and that map's going to be in charge for about a month or so. So the next time we're back here will be after the challenge. But yes, I think we're going to call that an episode. Oof, I hit the ground a little too hard. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. And everyone's gathered around here. There's a party. So I'm going to go chill on the server and have some fun. Uh, everyone's in the hangout of the Discord, so I'm probably going to join them for a bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode on the Q community server. So... Until our next adventure, bye-bye!